Hey Lars, great to see you here. Um, our companies are working together for a few years now. Could you please introduce yourself? Who are you and what are you doing? Uh, gladly. My name is Lars Schoeman and I'm working uh, in my own company uh, called Astualis Palavelt and we are providing pest control services in Finland throughout the country. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. We know you are a CEO who is not sitting the whole day in his office. You are also working outside at your client's buildings. Please tell us a little bit more about what kind of clients you are servicing. What kind of industry do they come from? Yes, we only work uh, business to business. So we have no private clients. Um, and uh, mostly in industry, like food industry, um, medical and packaging industry, yeah. mostly. Okay, I see. And um, how important is digitization for you? And what is your interpretation of digital pest control? It is very important. As a matter of fact, um, I am moving uh, to non-toxic, completely non-toxic um, pest control. Therefore, uh, it will be a huge part of my business in the future, in the ne very near future, already is. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, it's the same in Germany. Many companies are moving to non-toxic uh, pest control using digitization, digital products for pest control and monitoring. Um, you are working in Finland, so I get there are a few challenges like the weather and the temperatures, which make the use of digital products a little bit more difficult. Um, we know you've tested also other products and you gathered experiences with them. Um, please tell us a little bit more about this process. Yes, the weather is always a challenge, uh, even though when the climate is getting warmer, uh, Last year, we hardly had any snow in the uh, southern part of Finland. But yes, we get snow, we get rain. Um, that's why I wanted to have a product that is not totally digital. Therefore, uh, your product is perfect because it's mechanical mostly. The, the, the catching or the killing mechanism is mechanical, not digital or electric. So therefore, uh, it is very uh, uh, weatherproof to say. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Um, you also mentioned that you are using emitter. Um, today you are using hundreds of emitter direct and emitter pro devices. Um, so you also told me something about the weather conditions. So this was one reason why you decided to use Emitter. But um, are there some other big advantages compared to other products um, why you decided to use Emitter? Well, uh, mainly uh, the reason why I use Emitter is that I Uh, it's. I think it's almost 10 years when I when I got to know uh, Oliver and Daniel. So we have a long relationship, and uh, I really haven't had any any need to try others because I've been so satisfied with your products. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Um, maybe just one more question. Um, in the future, if you're thinking about digitization, maybe the next one, two, three, ten years, um, what would help you to get even a better result with digital products? A small camera in the box. A small camera in the box. Okay. We have to do our thinking about getting new products. So we are happy to get this advice from you. And um, yeah, this is the end of this interview i thank you very much for taking part and hope to talk to you uh, next year again maybe there will be some new products we can talk about them 
And um, yeah, hope to see you again the next week's month. And um, today I want to wish you Merry Christmas, good start into the new year. Thank you, Lars. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, and I wish you all our uh, German French friends, uh, I wish you Merry Christmas. Thank you, Lars.